trainer gets caught on camera being a pervert. And when I stand up for myself, he threatens to call the police and revoke my membership. Let's watch. And when I stand up for myself, he threatens to call the police and revoke my membership. Guys, gather around, listen up. This is going to be a doozy. First and foremost, thank you, smartphones. Thank you, the internet. Thank you, social media platforms, because without those three, these modern woke women will continue to live in their lives completely unabated without critique and or criticism for the bad behavior that they elicit. Modern men and their gripes regarding the modern woman will continue to be ignored. And because of said technology, we have a place to hold people accountable. Now there's a video that a young lady posted to her own Twitter and she did so because she thought she was in the right of her at the gym calling a man out and is going viral because of said man's reaction and as well as the reaction of decent ordinary human beings looking at her behavior across the internet. This is going to be a good one. Without further ado. And when I stand up for myself, he threatens to call the police and revoke my membership. The first thing that I notice is she's slowing the video down for you to be able to see exactly what the guys are looking at. The guys just did a quick glance over. Is that what you call being a pervert, madame? Is the guys quickly glancing over as you're undressing in the middle of the gym? That's what the locker rooms are for. Go undress in the locker room. But it's clear that from the things that you are wearing and undressing yourself out in the public that you are seeking attention. You are seeking validation. Being in a gym, recording yourself in the tightest thing that you can possibly find with your stomach out, with your chest spilling out of your sports bra. Undressing yourself as you're looking in the mirror, looking around at all of the men to see who's watching you. It's so ridiculous to me that you wear these different things or demonstrate yourself in this particular way and then you get mad when you get the attention that you are looking for. It looks like the guy sitting down says something and then the guy over here just turns around and takes a look. And then she starts with her bullshit. Do you need something? Now, mind you, he is between bicep curl machine, the dip machine, the squat machine, four machines worth away across the gym. And he turned back and just took a glance and then she starts with the aggressive, do you need something? Like for real, stop the cap, madame. Like he's not even close to you. He's all the way across the goddamn gym and he wasn't even making direct eye contact with you. You had to look at him in the mirror to see him glancing at you. It's a lot different if dude is all up in your space touching or staring and you tell him to stop and he then refuses to leave you alone. But you didn't expect that he was gonna call you out on your bullshit. Let's keep going. Oh, God. Right. See, she doesn't expect responses, man responses, masculine responses. And notice, shout out to the brother. He's keeping his emotions in line and check, and he's just addressing the situation. You don't get riled up because we all know in the back of our minds, she's going to try this woman victimization-ish as if we're all oppressive mongrels and sexual deviants. What he did was not sexual deviant or perverted shit as what you claim in your TikTok video. You're getting, you're getting rude, you believe. Nobody was looking at you 
She said no. <laughs> you don't own a gym. Yes. And if you're getting rude, then you can leave. That means what? I can call the police and have you trespass right now. Would you like that? Go ahead. Okay, cool. Go ahead, let them know. That's what we'll do. So right now, I'm just going to take your stuff and hit up front. Yeah, get out of there. You know, the other thing I noticed as well, did you guys notice her shaking her hips like that? Look. That's what we'll do. So right now, I'm just going to take your stuff and hit up front. That's not getting ready for a lift. That's what I like to call the modern woman attention seeking mating dance. Ugh. She's an attention seeking validation vampire, baiting men to look at her so she can capture a viral moment. You don't get passes for bad attitudes and bad behaviors just because you are of the opposite sex. You should conduct yourself cordially amongst other people in the gym that are just trying to work out. And this is the bullshit with common feminists today because they weaponize words or make shit up or exaggerate what people are doing in order to try to weaponize what they're doing against them. No, he wasn't being a pervert, madame. He was just checking you out. This is where we are at today where men can't even look in certain places out in the public without being labeled as perverts or misogynist or chauvinist pigs. Meanwhile, there's no accountability for the woman that comes into the gym thirst trapping. Like how do you go into an establishment thirst trapping and then get mad when someone gets caught in your trap? It's absolutely ridiculous. It's like if I was a hunter and I'm setting a trap and then I wake up in the morning, I go out to the trap and then I get pissed that there's a rabbit in the rabbit trap. But this just shows you the fall of society today where even men's eyes need to get policed to determine by these modern woke feminist women of what's appropriate and what is not. This is what happens when you create a society of victims. They cry wolf even when there's no wolf present. Questions, comments, concerns. Y'all already know what to do. Me over the turtles and reviews at gmail.com. You guys agree with me? You disagree with me? Leave it down in the comment box down below. The last thing I'm going to say is, listen, it's sweet justice that he works for that gym because he can actually do something about her bad attitude and her bad behavior. Most of us are not in that type of situation. Nine times out of 10, a woman who chooses to do this, there's absolutely no recourse for her. And even if you are completely in the right, you going up to her and engaging in her in conversation and she's crying wolf is gonna make those around and other people just believe her off of the strength that she's a woman who's proclaiming that you're doing this shit because society at large deems, and this goes for men and women, that, well, why would she say this? Why would she make that up? She must have a point. This must be reality. So because you have no recourse, I would caution you guys for letting your ego get too big when at the point where they want to use societal perception as leverage against you. Because more often than not, you will lose unless you have the audio or the visual. Shout out to Johnny Depp. Until next time, you two. Peace. Hey.